What's up, YouTube? It's your boy K Bradshaw 880 with another update on the ZX750 project. Okay, that piece of shit there is the old exhaust. Uh, I would really have loved to be able to use it again, but it's scrap now. This is the new stuff. All right, all right. Here's the new exhaust pipe and header. I uh, painted it black with 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit resistant uh, uh, exhaust and engine paint. There's, of course, the custom uh, pipe you guys seen that already. Okay. Um, I also installed the radiator. Okay. Finally got the radiator on. I had to build a few custom brackets here and on the other side because, uh, like I said in the first video, this bike was in an accident so the brackets were pretty bent up so you know I had to had to improvise it's held on it's pretty tight pretty sturdy I don't see these things uh, coming off so that's uh, that's a plus my brother uh, rush money he's also on YouTube uh, he got me the hand grips each side okay so I got new hand grips finally got that front wheel on nice it came green you know the factory kawasaki green but uh you know i uh primed it painted it everything black make sure everything matches the gas tank i redid i took the the white out if you remember it was uh white lined on the sides here and it went down into like a v i just decided to fade it out with the black and red left a little uh little white on the top just a very, very, actually it's not even white, it's more of a just blended <laughs> red and whatever. Alright, but um, that's the bike so far. Okay, so we got the pipe on, exhaust, got the front wheel on, the radiator. Uh, I also customized the back tail light. Alright, now mind you, everything on here, this is pretty much factory. Um, you know, it's stock, so that's the stock tail light all I did was uh, I taped it spray painted it black went over it with a clear coat looks really nice at night when you turn the lights on uh, what else did I do I believe that's it I believe that's it spray painted the seats uh, to give it a richer look it's dirty now I left it out in the rain last night so got pretty dirty um, now this here the engine I'm going to install some uh, LEDs which I have already I just have to put them on I'm going to line the LEDs under here and when you I turn them on of course you know I painted the engine white so <clears throat> it uh you know it'll really bring out bring the engine out and add a lot of character to the bike but what's really going to add the character is if you can see it's kind of a has kind of a greenish thing going on yeah engine is glow in the dark yo yeah i've never seen a bike with a glow in the dark engine i believe this is the first so <laughs> let's see how that works out this is also the white um high temperature engine paint uh here and then the glow in the dark is over it which i have to go over it again with more glow in the dark just to give it a thicker uh a higher contrast uh, the headlights should be coming in tomorrow. Uh, I got these headlights with the bracket. I think these belong to a car. Fog lights, whatever. But the headlights come in tomorrow. I also have a new battery on the way. <coughs> that should be in by uh, either tomorrow or Friday. The new battery will be in. The battery I have, I, all I'm getting now is like a buzzing sound. It's really not... The bike is not trying to turn over. It's just like bzz, bzz, whenever I hit the starter. So I called around to a few mechanics and everyone said the same thing. Sounds like a dead battery. So battery is on the way. It's coming in from Indiana. You know, got it on eBay for like 35 bucks. eBay is my best friend. So once that gets in, then I can, uh, we can see a moment of truth and really get some power to this bike and crank it over well that's it that's my update for now and i'll see y'all next time